Father Mastardi, Mastardi gave us the signal that it's ready for dessert, the final course. And we have Executive Chef Nancy Miller that's going to present to us a, a wonderful shortcake that she made with macerated berries. And I assure you, you need three Hail Marys and three active contritions after you eat this. <laughs> Oh, good evening, everybody. Welcome. Um, as Jim said, I'm doing a macerated berry shortcake. Of course, I couldn't go without a little bit of graminier in those berries, so um, I highlighted it with just a little bit of sugar and the graminier, and that's all that's in the berries. I wanted to keep them nice and fresh and, and uh, vibrant for you. So uh, this shortcake uh, recipe actually is a takeoff of a scone recipe that I make, and um, I actually won Best of Philly for scones five years in a row. They <laughs> Somebody followed me all over Philadelphia because I was not in the same restaurant or pastry shop during any of those five years, and someone must have been following me because uh, it, it kept just popping up, and they didn't ask me to enter or anything, and it would just be in there. So Let's see, we have a couple cups of flour. And if anybody wants the recipe, I'd be happy to email it to you. <laughs> it's real simple. So we're going to do a third a cup of sugar, two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and a couple teaspoons of baking powder. And we blend that all together a little bit here. This will make about eight portions, depending on how large you like your shortcake. <laughs> and then you want to uh, take your butter and chop it up into little pieces, because, and you want it to be chilled. When it goes into the uh, flour mixture, uh, you're going to want something like you would make a homemade pie crust. I don't know how. You know, there's probably a lot of women in here that have made pie crust. Show of hands. Yeah, from scratch. So, yes, and men. And Jim, you know, baked for many years at a monastery. Great. So what we're looking for is a crumbly texture. And then we're going to add our heavy cream because we've got all those nice fresh berries there, not adding hardly any calories at all. So, <laughs> so what the heck, right? <laughs> Nancy, can I jump in real quick? Of course. Love your fat, protect your fat. Now, with the berries that she's using, that's the highest form or known form of natural salicylic acid, natural aspirin. And it reduces inflammation. Strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. And uh, there's a, a, another acid in strawberries that really shut down cancer. It's called ellagic acid. And it just shuts down all initiation stages of cancer. So this is a powerful and a delicious. <laughs> Dessert. And we have a nice mixture of berries. I have blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries all represented. Want to get all our antioxidants in there, Jim? It's basically, you, you want to leave this fairly crumbly. And then we're going to pat it out on the board and cut them out. How much cream or milk are you using, Nancy? Anywhere from like a third of a cup to two thirds, depending on the consistency. It's different every time you do it. But you want it to be not too sticky. You want to be able to pat it out. And this makes a lovely scone, it really does. So if uh, you have a desire to make some scones, you can add anything to this recipe that you like. Fruits, nuts. I just use a little flour to pat that out. You can cut it with a cutter, you can make squares or triangles, whatever you desire. I usually um, also brush it with a little bit of melted butter and sprinkle it with cinnamon sugar. 
So then we get a lovely biscuit. If you make it a little wetter, you could even um, hand dip this recipe if you just want to do a free form scoop. So I'm going to go and plate one up for you. Like Julia Child, I actually have one ready. <laughs> How many minutes at what temperature in the oven, Nancy? Uh, let's see, I start them at uh, 425 for about 10 minutes, and then I turn it down to 350 for about another eight to 10. You wanna press them and have it be um, like spring back. And do you crack your wine and garlic while you're doing that? <laughs> I certainly do. <laughs> and of course, the Grand Marnier. We had some lovely cocoa mint out in the garden that Jim was kind enough to pick for you. Highly sustainable, local, <laughs> very local. Yes, very local. We do have herb gardens all across campus. I'm down on South Campus. I have a lovely herb garden, but I think the law school actually has the best one. This is better and than I made food some network. lovely white chocolate triangles for you. Yes. You have to throw a little white chocolate in there now and again. There you go. 